Today we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my June 2019 update video for, you guessed it, June 2019. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I wanna talk about is a little bit of YouTube stuff. I don't have a whole lot to go over this month, surprise. But I do wanna say, that we've almost completely uploaded everything from the previous uh, personal channel. So the only thing we have left is one episode of Andy Before Japandi. It's gonna be coming out later on this week. And that's pretty much it. Now, we still do have uh, Military Mondays. Uh, so every Monday there's gonna be an episode of Andy Talks Navy. And those have been scheduled out as far as like the end of November of this year. So we definitely have a fair bit of content to get through as far as that goes, but as far as everything else, we're all caught up. So uh, feel free to watch some of those episodes and have fun reminiscing and stuff. Because you know, I know I have. You know, that's one of the it's one of the fun things about being a YouTuber for as long as I've been doing it. Because like, I've been doing it for over 13 years now, and to just be able to go back and look at some of those awesome experiences and remember those times and actually like see where I was during those times instead of letting the nostalgia glasses, you know, get cranked on a little too tight and, you know, think it was actually like this, but in reality it was like this, if that makes any sense. So, and to be able to share that with the whole world, you know, that's that's awesome. That's the, that's the power of YouTube, baby. So that's pretty much it for the youtube -y stuff. So let's get into some personal life stuff. So. Uh, the main thing I want to talk to you guys about is obviously this has been my first week back in school since I left at the end of 2017, back when I was up in Michigan. And uh, it's been great so far. You know, summer is a highly underrated semester, especially if you're introverted with a, a dash of the, uh, the anxiety and stuff. So summer semesters are nice because parking is usually a lot easier. Uh, classes are a lot more laid back, you know, there's not a lot of people running around so you don't have to feel like you're just like stuck in a crowd of people, especially if you go to a big campus. But that being said, there are some disadvantages, one of them being that the pace is a lot faster in summer courses because the summer semester is shorter. So they have to like cram what would normally be like, what, 16 weeks worth of stuff into like eight weeks. So. You know, they kind of end up skipping out a lot of the, the filler stuff like lectures and all that other stuff and kind of just condensing it down, which that in and of itself can be a good thing, especially for me, just kind of wants to know the facts, wants to know what I want to know and not, you know, have to worry about attending lectures and stuff like that. So that's kind of nice, but I do have to be like on it. So, you know, as long as I approach it with the right mindset, I'm good, so yeah. And speaking of school, um, this weekend I'm gonna be working on homework and all that fun stuff uh, for my classes and everything like that, so. And then afterwards, you know, work on some more free freelance projects, things like that. Um, I said this on Instagram, if you're not following me there, instagram.com slash theandysong. Sure to give your boy a follow. You know, this is the first week where the work begins. You know, this is where I actually begin to put some work towards coming back to Japan. You know, no longer is it just like hype and like, I really want to do it, guys. I'm, I'm serious about it. I mean, come on, guys. You know, it's like, <laughs> you know, the hype's over. It's time to put in the work. You know, I'm going to take this as seriously as I can. I'll still probably stick to my usual-ish uploady schedule, you know, since there's not going to be as many, you know, constant weekly uploads since the archive's pretty much done, aside from the Andy Talks Navy stuff. I am taking school very seriously this semester because, you know, gotta do good this semester because those are the grades I'm gonna be using to apply to the schools that I wanna go out to uh, out in Tokyo. So I wanna make sure I present myself in the best possible way. You know, I made some mistakes in the past. That was like two, three years ago. Um, I've grown a lot since then, much different person now, and you know, you can even go back and look at some of those older videos and see some of the, the changes, you know, some of the growth, um, and just focus on what I want, basically, because um, I'm really serious about coming back to Japan, 
and I want to do what I can to make it happen. You know, because the nice thing about the GI Bill is, you know, it'll take care of a lot of things. You know, like once I'm out there and, you know, the BH payments and stuff start coming in, then it's, you know, you can cruise nice and easy. But it's getting to that point. That's the hard part. You know, it's getting to save up the money to, you know, afford the plane tickets to come over, to afford the uh, the dorm that's out there. Because the, the dorms, because like with uh, a lot of the universities out there, they require you to spend at least the first semester in a dorm. And a lot of times, uh, because especially since the dorms are in Tokyo and not exactly in a cheap part of Tokyo, um, even though they're dorms, they're still pretty expensive relative to uh, what you could get in either similar parts or maybe a bit further out from the more populated areas of Tokyo. So um, that's going to be a little tough on the old wallet, at least for the first semester. But, you know, I've been looking at different areas around Tokyo, um, just like different like guest houses, share houses, uh, dormitories, which are a lot, a lot better priced. Um, and just other living situations out there. Really looking forward to that, obviously. Um, I've just been doing a lot of research on the Tokyo area because like, I visited Tokyo a whole lot when I was stationed in Yokosuka, but as you guys know, it's one thing to visit a place, but it's a completely different thing to live there because like when you're visiting, you don't really think of things like commute time, uh, traffic, and just all the little things that are involved with living in an extremely dense city like Tokyo. So there's a lot of different factors that I have to consider when finding a place out there. And, you know, I don't think I'll know for sure where I wanna go until I actually get out there and see the commute times and stuff for myself. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to uh, plan a little ahead and just have a general idea of what to look for and especially prices, because sticker shock is real out there. You know, I've been looking for like cheap apartments and stuff. And, you know, I usually find that like the cheaper apartments are either tiny little shoe boxes in a guest house or like, you know, they're decently sized, but they're like way out in the friggin' countryside, the Yanaka area. It's basically a trade off between low rent but high travel costs or high rent and low travel costs. So you gotta figure out like what's more uh, important to you. You know, do you want to live in a place that's reasonably sized for not a lot of money, but it takes you like two, two, two and a half hours to get to school and back? Or do you wanna live fairly close to school, but live in a shoebox that costs way too much money? So just priorities, basically. And there's also a lot of hidden costs, especially with Japanese apartments, because you know you got your key money, deposit, you know, realtor's fee, all these other hidden fees, which thankfully there's you know websites out there that kind of outline those sorts of things. So it's not like a complete surprise. But you know, if you're just kind of like searching through stuff and you see, oh, this apartment's only like 250 bucks a month, okay, and you open it up and it's like initial moving cost is like almost $2,000. It's like, eh? <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, getting back to uh, my previous thing uh, about, you know, presenting yourself in the best possible way uh, when applying to schools. So, like I said, main focus is going to be on school. So, if you don't see a whole lot of videos from me, you know, just know that I'm working hard <laughs> on school and uh, I'm gonna really give this uh, my best possible effort. So everything revolves around school, whether it's freelance projects, YouTube videos, everything. So again, you know, you're still gonna see a little trickle of videos from me as far as like the Andy Talks Navy series. And I might post a little video every once in a while, just kind of let you know what's going on, especially if there's like a big update. But uh, for the most part, I'm just gonna be working on school, doing me. Um, but if you do want to, you know, reach out or something, sure leave a little comment down below in the boopy de boop, or join my Discord. Um, I do have a Discord. There's a link 
in the description of all my videos. It's a permanent link, so it's not timed. So you can join whenever you like. But I really enjoy my Discord. It's got a good group of people in there. And uh, I want to see it grow and flourish. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I want to say in this particular update video. Really got to go to the bathroom, so we're going to pinch things off here. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Sign for now. Thinking, hey, you guys, pook, with an old school Andy San outro that's probably going to last way too long. But whatever, I'm feeling it right now. I'm definitely feeling it right now. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, liking this video, commenting, subscribing. Send a few friends to the party. Um, all the youtube -y call to action type stuff that you normally hear. Um, so, just wanna thank you guys for all the support. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.